Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to use the align items property in our tweet embed. In the last challenge, we introduced align items property and gave an example. This property can be applied to a few tweet uh, embed elements to align uh, the flex items inside them. Add the CSS property align items to the headers follow button. Follow dash button element. So when I think, see that, I, think, I see follow button. It was nice that they left a little space in here for us right there. And what they want to do is add the CSS properly, align items. <clears throat> so align items. What did that do? Didn't change anything. Should have the align items properties set to center. Okay, so what, right now what are we looking at? I'm just going to change the color of this to red. Oh, it doesn't make a difference. Hmm. Oh, we're just doing the alignment. Okay, so align items is set to center. Watch up here to see when uh, it changes. Oh man, I don't even see it. Is that really what they wanted us to do? Oh, that's a bummer. It's kind of a bummer when they ask you to do things and, and, the, and the example doesn't really show what's going on when you do it. I don't see any specific difference here. Um, header button. What is it? Align item center, header, follow button. So down here, inside of the header, we have a follow button that says follow. Okay, and so this is supposed to be a follow button, but let's say, let's make it a background uh, color equal to red. And well, we get a little bit of uh, points right here, here, and here. Um, let me just background red. Does that change it? Um, background color. I silence this out, the red goes away. Can you see the little red right here? And so once we align center, I think what it does, hmm, it's hard to really tell from this example what it does. Anyways, that's what they wanted you to do. Um, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.